guys missed a whole bunch of cars and what I'm gonna do today, what I'll be doing is going back through, showing you guys what y'all missed, man. So I do keep in contact, before y'all even ask, I do keep in contact with a lot of my customers. I wanna make sure even after the sale that the car is still good. And uh, I wanna make sure that they are, right. that's what this is about, it's family. You, know, you don't just sell something, you just actually leave it. I get to know you on a personal level. You guys get to know me on a personal level. Uh, so, so it's more than just business, man. Let me switch, switch hands. Now, uh, you might want to know on how I come across these cars. I get a real short version. The short version is this. You know somebody who couldn't make their car note, you know, maybe because uh, they lost their job, they got a divorce, or something like that. It could be anything. And the bank repossessed it. You know, they took really good care of the car, but the bank repossessed it. I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's a bad thing. Well, it used to be. But fortunately, but y'all, for my subscribers, it's a good thing. Meaning that, and what I'm doing is, I'm bringing those quality vehicles that people spent their hard on money on, kept up, put into, to you. All my subscribers, I got access to. What I'm gonna do is, uh, we're gonna go over some cars that you guys did not get to see this week. But first, uh, I'm gonna step in the Macy's over here. Unfortunately for me, they got a good sale, so I'm gonna go in here and grab something and uh, we'll get on with the day. Yeah, that's kind of cool to see this thing from the front. Okay. I like to follow up with uh, a lot of my customers and a lot of my people who actually helped out, especially if they got a car or whatever from me. Y'all seen it on the last one? My man, Red was with me, he taped it. Got him a little whip, I hooked him up real quick. I'm gonna show that to y'all too. And I'm gonna go through again, because I did a video on this once before. What do you do after you get a car, even if it's brand new? So uh, we're gonna hit this AutoZone real quick. All right, let's go. Nineteen ninety-six is the oldest year that they do. This is right at their cutoff point. But for the price that you got this for, man, less than a set of tires, man. Like I said, I'm gonna push twenty cars. I'm pushing twenty cars. But uh, Did he give any codes, Brick? Nope. Uh, no codes on the vehicle. No codes on the vehicle. Good. You can think of anything that you would ask to tell anybody or a new car buyer or anything like that, man. I'd appreciate it. Well, if you're buying a new car, the only thing I can really tell you is check all the fluids that you possibly can get to. If you check all the fluids, check your basic maintenance of brakes, air filter if you can get to it. Uh, that stuff, you can tell whether the vehicle is maintained or not. Check for wreckage, stuff like that. You know, uppers, loose fenders, you can tell if it's been in an accident or not. After that, you just need to listen for it after you start it. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Person that's taken care of, done maintenance, the type of cars that you want to buy from. For you know, one owner car, for instance. Yeah, they cost a lot more in the long run, but generally that person's going to know every single maintenance they've been done to them. Thanks, Rick. Mm -hmm. Much appreciated, man. Anything else, Rick? Alright, so usually y'all see me speeding around, whatever, but uh, my man, he's gonna actually drive, I'm gonna film. Y'all really get a feel for the car. It's pretty good, I don't know. Marathon over by the Art Museum? Yeah. Got yeah, this mug is a roll, Rick. Right? Yeah. I should probably take the cigarette out of the vehicle. Good, bro. Alright, so we're about to go around these curves. <laughs> I love these curves. Like it feels like you're going.
you're going faster than you actually are because of the percentage of your performance. Thank you for turning on your turn signal. Try to stay in touch with the people who I actually do business with, man. Like I said, it's more of a family thing. If it's anything that I know, I'm definitely going to tell you. Definitely going to show you. That's what this channel is about. And then, and then some. But, uh, man, that's the ride. Oh, oh. He, he want to show you his, his town. Building. 260. Bank, the courthouse. Here. It's a pretty cool area. Downtown has a lot of restaurants you'll never see anywhere else or a museum. I went there when I was a kid. Japanese cherry blossom is fairly awesome. A festival. Here we go. She brought the gas, man. The gas is 247. Famous 3800. Same ready to go. Man, Harrison, he was like, hey, you don't ever show the motors. I'm like, all right. All right. All right. All right. You no know white smoke. Y'all, it's a house. Look for those few things, man, and I'm out. All right, Red, I'm out, man. Take it easy, you good? Yeah. Hey, you know they got the tacos in here, big burritos, the steak? I got a dollar, I'm looking something fake. I got you. <laughs> What's up, man? Yeah. New customer right. for you, give me a steak burrito. I'm gonna buy it. One steak burrito? Yeah, I'm buying one. Oh, for him? Yeah. Okay. I got you, bro. Yeah, man. Spot right here. Y'all don't know about it. Y'all gotta check it out. Best for those in time. Fall back as I'm coming through with my whole team. They coming too. That's real. Too real. Motherfucker, tell me how you feel. I'm too good for my own good. I won't leak the album. I let it spill. Number one, bitch, I bet it will. Do the numbers, I said it will. I played the game and I'm still the same. And I never change just to get a deal, bitch, I'm ballin'. ballin'. I came from nothing to something like it's nothing. Yeah, you know I done it. That is no discussion, bitch, I'm ballin'. ballin'. I made a promise to my mama. Said uh, all wheel drive, leather, sunroof. Of course, he got his uh baby seat in here, but like I said, man, uh, it doesn't take long at all. You know, right before the ink dry, even before the ink dry, the cars are going. Traction control. Nice car. Not gonna get his plate. Yeah. Oh. 
Take it easy, man. I okay. got what I needed. Appreciate you spending time out, man, for me to ask you film this. Okay. All right, you can park your car, go. Okay, take care. All right. college student and he works so it's hard to catch up with him anyway three in one week that's not bad it's not bad at all to my subscribers out there and new subscribers out there if you need a car to get you to point a to point b or as far as like you know to work and back solid motor solid trans i think the lowest i can go is like a thousand dollars man i mean Again, that's not even a set of tires, but you'd be surprised how many people actually need those cars or they want to save mile on a newer car. But I can get it, no problem. Just hit me on my IG, Instagram, and uh, we'll go from there. And 3,500 to 5,000, I'll get you a really nice car. Anything over 5,000. If you went to like Porsches, or um, Mercedes, even BMWs, that's around the ballpark that um, you would need to come up with. But a lot of my cars is actually custom order. You know, you will call and say, hey, I got $2,000. What can you do for $2,000? You have a son, a daughter who's graduating, or already graduating, or who's getting ready to start college, and you want to get him a nice car, Instagram me, man. And we'll go from there, just like I said. Or if you yourself just need something to get me from point A to point B, let me know. I'm glad you guys actually tuned in today. And stay tuned because uh, on average I got to do about like three a week to keep up with this pace. So tune in to see what I have next week. And be sure to subscribe um, because at 225,000 subscribers, I'm gonna give away a car, I'll give away something nice. Maybe like a 2011 Dodge Charger or something like that. Cause I'm pretty sure you guys probably know somebody who could use a car or you just want an extra car, who knows? All right, that's it. Talk to y'all later.